What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put the date onto your home screen, no jailbreak required. And this does work on iOS 14.4 and up. Uh, just a bit of disclaimer, I am on 14.5 beta and it works just fine. Now I'm gonna be using weather light to do this. I have covered weather light in the past in a couple of videos. I'll leave those linked down in the description just in case you guys wanna see how this shortcut actually works. So if you guys haven't seen that, I would highly suggest to check those out first. Otherwise this might not make much sense. Um, but basically all I've done to get the date on my home screen like you guys are seeing here is I edited the JSON file so that I removed every single element by setting the Y value to 200 except for the date. The date I have I guess what I could do is I could make this JSON available for you guys, so I'll do that. I'll put a link in the description for it, but really all you gotta do is edit every little section here and change the Y value to 200 except for the date and that I have positioned at like, I think it's like around 80% or so for the Y value. I have it centered and I have the X value at 50%, so it's centered exactly in the screen there. Now what's nice about just having the date on the home screen is I don't have to automate this to run every couple of hours. I like doing simple things. I like looking at simple things. So this was really fun to set up, mainly for this setup that you guys are seeing here. So uh, all I did was edit that JSON file so that this is all that's displayed. Um, in that JSON, you'll have the link to this font that's being used as well. You guys won't have to edit anything or, or change anything like that. But another thing that I wanna mention here um, is the automation of this. It's, it's really simple to automate. You just go into shortcuts, go to, go to automation, and I actually just have, I have two of them because I was showing those in, in an example in the weather light video. Uh, and really all I gotta do is just leave those two like that and it will run the shortcut every day at six o'clock and seven o'clock. Actually what I can do is just delete the seven o'clock one. So every day at 6 a.m. it will update my date on the home screen, which is fine for me because I'm usually not up by 6 a.m. So that way when I wake up, it's got the newest date. Now, another thing that's really cool with Weatherlight is you can go into the shortcut itself and you can actually scroll down here. Be careful what you click on because you can screw things up. I'm pretty, pretty used to toying with these things at this point, so I'll know if I've messed something up. But what you can do is scroll down until you see this big long section here with all the different items. And from here, you can find the date, which is right there. And you can actually click on current date, just like that. And then you can see you can put a custom format in, which is really cool. So I'm actually gonna change that on video for you guys to see what it does. And I'm just gonna make it just the day. So we're gonna do E, 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 E. And I'm sure there's some sort of document on the internet that shows you all the diff different uh, date formats you can use. Uh, but I'm just gonna switch it to that and show you guys the changes take effect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit that. I'm gonna run my Weatherlight shortcut. And as you guys will see, the format of that date will change and it should just show Wednesday and that's it. And I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, so keep in mind, you can change the format of this date to whatever um, combination you want and it can look really, really cool. So as you guys will see here, it will update. And there you go, as you can see, now it just says Wednesday. Uh, that way I know it's Wednesday on my home screen. Of course, I could probably put the date and something else after that, but I just wanted to give you guys an example of changing it, that it's totally customizable. There's so much with weather light that is customizable and you can really strip it away to be super simple looking just like this. And I think it's pretty awesome to have the date right on my home screen for me. Uh, again, like I said, I'll leave links for everything you guys will need down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.